he was assassinated. Israel targeted Ismail Haniyeh, Hamas's political leader, when he was staying in Tehran. He was there attending the appointment of Iran's president, Mas'ud Pezashian. The message is clear. Israel wants an all-out regional war. First, Israel stands in the way of ceasefire negotiations. Then, they target and assassinate Hezbollah commander in Beirut. Then, they assassinate Hamas's political leader, Ismail Haniyeh, in Tehran carrying out assassinations, attacks on foreign soil. And doing all that in a matter of hours, all in an attempt, a desperate attempt to escalate tensions. Israel claims it wants peace and negotiates in good faith, yet it proceeds to assassinate one of the chief negotiators. Even Qatar pointed this out. How can negotiations take place in which one party kills negotiators. While the ICJ has accused Israel of committing genocide and apartheid, and while the ICC threatens to issue arrest warrants for Benjamin Netanyahu and Yuav Gallant, Israel continues to commit war crimes with no accountability in sight.